Yeah, I mean, it's a tough week because we're playing tough games. I don't think um, I thought our effort was good again. I thought um, I think the Wayne State game is going to help us. Uh, I think we've come a long ways from being in that situation before at different times of the year and not executing. Um, we were able to uh, make big shots at really important times in the game. Uh, the right people stepped up. Uh, at the right times during that game. Brenna Heisey was pretty consistent throughout the day. Uh, Lindsey Winter had a great uh, third and fourth quarter. Morgan Anderson, who had been cold throughout the entire game, came up with um, basically two game-winning plays. Um, and, you know, that being said, that's one of her threes is off a of Lindsey Winter offensive rebound, too. So a lot of different people stepped up at the right times in that game which I think is important for us moving forward. And then, you know, Saturday was tough. Uh, Saginaw Valley is good, and I think we had a four, probably a four-minute period where uh, we weren't as sharp as we needed to be, and in that four minutes, they really, really jumped on us. And um, it's unfortunate, but that's been a trend, and that's something that we just really have to pay attention to as in not letting that happen in the future because I think aside from that, when we've played and been steady for the full 40 minutes, um, we've done a good job. Brenna's really tough to stop when she's in a rhythm. I mean, she was, she had some good shots and she created some good shots for herself. Um, she makes the game very difficult. I wish she would shoot, you know, all the, her, her 10 makes are, are jumpers, contested baseline, you know, 15 foot, 16 foot jumpers. So it'd be, it would be nice if she would shoot a layup every once in a while, but, um, you know, she does make tough shots for us, and those are really hard shots to also to defend. We put her in situations off a of ball screen and roll and things like that. So um, she's doing a really, really good job um, for us, and like I said, very, con very consistent. Yeah, that was a difficult, you know, Morgan hasn't really been in a situation like that where we've taken her out of the game and, you know, she's had to go back in and it was like, a, you know, find this person in the offense. Um, and she responded well to it. She took it in stride and uh, knew the time when we needed her and she needed to step up. And I think she understands, you know, she's evaluating herself throughout the entire game, you know, and she's thinking, I, I, I didn't make a shot. I need to, you know, they need me right now. And she understands that. Um, and she's just... She's just that tough and, to be honest, quite frankly, stubborn that she's going to make that shot. You know, at the end of the game, she's going to make that shot one way or the other. And um, that's why she's a winner. You know, that's why, she's, that's why she's so great. Being on the road, you start to you remember and recognize how fortunate you are when you are home. Um, it'll be really nice to have our fans cheering for us. It'll be really nice to be able to be in a little bit of a routine throughout the week and get back to some normal sleep hours um, in our own beds. And I think the, the players are really excited to protect their home floor. Um, Northwood is going to, uh, both teams are going to be really tough. Northwood first is, um, they're just playing really well right now. I think they're one of the hottest teams in the league. They're coming off of a big win um, against Grand Valley. And they're just, their team, their team as a whole is really, really clicking. Uh, they have their, their post player who's averaging almost a double-double um, and almost averaged one last year is doing really well. And then they've surrounded her with uh, shooters that are finding ways to get to the rim and hit open threes. They've always been a transition team, so they're very fast. If they can get out and run, they will. Uh, but they found a way to, to control that and then, you know, use their shooters and their post players. So as a team, you know, that's what makes, that's what makes the great teams is when everybody's hard to guard and they're moving the ball really well um, and they're good at what they do, and that's, that's the place that Northwood's at right now. Lake State has uh, done a really good job, and their program is improving tremendously. Um, they're just so fundamental, and, and fundamentals are hard to beat. You know, you're always trying to go back to the fundamentals, get back to just jumping to the ball, um, and they are really, really fundamentally sound, um, doing a really good job this year. They just, um, they always find the right person. They always make the right reads. They always make the right pass. So um, we have our hands full again this weekend, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Defense is going to be number one for, for both both teams. Um, I think Thursday is going to be transition, um, stopping their post play first and then getting out on their shooters. And then uh, Saturday is really going to be fundamental position defense.